Hi, everybody, and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge YouTube platform. So I thank everyone for the support of that thumbs up. All right, guys, this is exciting because Ipsy has now released all the potential products that we could have received in our box this month. So I've set it up on my computer so we can go through it together. And then please share with me in the comments if any of these were ones that you wanted or ones that you ended up getting and that you're really happy with. All right, all right, let's get started. All right, here we go. So. Starting with the Glam Bag, we're also going to be doing the Glam Bag Plus in this video as well. So all the potential products that we could have received this month was starting with Hey Honey, the Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. I really enjoy the Hey Honey, but I have not tried their serum yet. So there's some new ones in here that really surprised me. Then we have the Nature Lab Tokyo Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. This is an actually really good product. And then from It Cosmetics, their Lash Blowout. I have shared with you, I really enjoy It Cosmetics and their mascaras. I'm really happy this was in one of my bags. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Beauty Sleep. I use a lot of Vic Cosmetic products. This one in particular, I only received in the past from another box it in a packet. So I'm really excited that this is what they chose for me this month in mine. Then we have from Pearly Say the BB Cream. If you have not tried this, this is a fantastic product. Excited for those who got this as an option. Then we have from Chella, also a brand that I really enjoy as well. Their shadows are really good. Tatcha, we always enjoy seeing Tatcha in our bags. This is their rice wash, another good product. Briagio Hair Care, another fantastic brand. And this is one of their products here. Pear Nova is one that is a newer brand to me, but I've had the opportunity to try their hand cream, which comes in this huge tube, which is absolutely fantastic. So now they're showing us some of their actual nail lacquers. If you've had the opportunity to try the Pear Nova nail lacquers, please share that in the comments down below. Formula Z. This one, I was on my fence about purchasing this in the add-ons because it wasn't a choice item for me. So I'm hoping somebody has gotten this because I would love to see this. There are a couple of color options in this, but in my add-ons, only the darker red one was there. Then we have from Misha Beauty. We're starting to see more from this brand. And a lot of you have shared with me that you really enjoy their polishes. Anastasia Lee Beverly Hills. This is what my choice item was for my glam bag. And then I chose it in a lighter shade in the add-on. So I'm excited to be able to show you both shades here on my channel. Then from Feel Beauty, this is their Vitamin E Balm, another really good product. Commodity, another one that is newer to me, but I'm really excited about it is Perfumes. And then First Aid Beauty, this was in the PR package that I received from Ipsy. And this, uh, I sh swatched and did everything with you. What's nice about this, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to try it, is when I swatched it, it had um, a little bit of these uh, particles inside that I think will also help with the purging and the exfoliation on top of it being a mask. Really excited about that. This is a newer product to me and this is going to be in one of my bags. And then from Shades by Shan, I have tried a lot of their products, but I don't think I've had the opportunity to try their lipsticks. And I would have definitely chosen that in my add-ons or in my picks, but it wasn't an option for me. Then we have the YC collection. As I mentioned to you, when I opened this in uh, my PR package, I received one of these brushes, but I also pulled out where I got a three pack in a previous box to show you what the difference is in they what was in the three pack and this one here. So this one is saying it is a cheek blush. And I think the other one that is potentially in the other bag was the glow brush. But for some reason, they do not put their uh, names or their numbers on their brushes. 
Elf Cosmetics. This is new that they're starting to show Elf Cosmetics in our bags. And this is the Big Mood Mascara in Black. I would love the opportunity to have tried that. And then Hey Honey, this is another one of their products. Like I've mentioned, Hey Honey is such a really nice line that when we get the opportunity to try the skincare in the glam bag, I'm always open for it. Firmer Beauty, love when we get full-size brushes. And the Firmer Beauty, I've had the opportunity to try. And it is a good, good brush. Then we have from Best Face Forward. This is a newer brush brand to me but here is the kapari this is the ultra restore body butter this i've shared with you i am so excited that it was actually in my pr package because it was not even an option for me in my bags but i did show you the comparison of the full size that i got in another brand's box and one that i really highly recommend and really enjoy skylar i would love to have had the opportunity to try one of their perfumes I'm now following them on Instagram and everyone talks so highly of their brand and I would love the opportunity through Ipsy to be able to try one of their products. V Cosmetic is a, a really good brand. This one, I've had the opportunity to try a couple of their products. Currently, uh, actually in the video that I did yesterday, opening the PR, I was actually using their blush. Really, really enjoy this product. Would have loved the opportunity, hopefully in the future, to get this brand's products, more of them in my boxes. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics, another e.l.f. product. This is their Holy Hydration. I have not tried a lot of their skincare, and it's ironic. When I first, first uh, got introduced to e.l.f., and that's years ago, I really enjoyed their product. And now they're making a lot of dupes for some really higher-end products, and the reviews are really, really fantastic. So I'm happy that we'll have the opportunity to uh, explore more about the e.l.f. line here at Ipsy. Sophia and Mabel, this is their primer. This is a silicone-based primer. Jasmine Beauty, this is one that was one of my choices. I'm excited to see that when I get my box. Kinder Beauty Lip Scrub, enjoy lip scrubs. Real Her, this is also a really nice brow setting gel. Enjoy the Real Hair brand. Basic Beauty is the lipstick that I was wearing where I got this in the PR package. Really impressed with this. Don't be afraid, the shade is dark, but you can do just one swipe and it comes across really a lot lighter, but it really stayed on my lips through numerous videos yesterday without any retouching and it wasn't drawing on the lips. Really impressed with that. Youth to the People is another one that I highly recommend. Really enjoy their cleansers, their moisturizers. Their product line is really, really fantastic. Ciate London, this is their translucent powder. That is another one that I've had the opportunity to try and enjoy. Ditto. This is a newer one to me, but I did watch another girl who opened up her packages with her PR packages, and she was really impressed with this. So this is now going to be on my wants list, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to try more from the Ditto line. Ciate London. This was in our spoilers, but I did not see this as an option. This is their Peach Party eyeshadow. Sephora Collection. This is another one that I've had the opportunity to try in another box, and it is really, really good. So if you see this, I'm really impressed with this Sephora collection. I'm trying more and more from that brand of Sephora, their own personal collection, and I've been impressed with it. Kors, as you know, is a brand that I talk about a lot on my channel. It is one that I really enjoy and recommend. Fenty. This fat water is absolutely fantastic. This is a toner, but it is a lot thicker, and it acts almost like a serum and a toner. Really, really impressed with this. I also got this in a uh, big box bundle from Ipsy. I think it was through the shopper. Really, really impressed with that. Beauty Creations. This is one of the items that is going to be in my bag this month. Excited to get that. And then Trend Beauty. A lot of girls chose this as their choice item. I've had the opportunity to try Trend Beauty in the past. So when I had that option again, I chose not to choose a palette because I chose a palette in my add-ons, which ended up being in the PR package, which I shared with you and wore yesterday and was really impressed with it. Beauty Creations, this is another eyeshadow palette from them. So if you've had the opportunity to try, please share that in the comments down below because it looks like we have a couple of products from that brand. Bare Minerals, this is the one that was in my PR package and it blew me away. I didn't even know this was an option. Like I said, it wasn't in my choices or my add-ons or I definitely would have picked it up because I always share with you with these mascaras in the section that is the 3350. Those mascaras are always the full-size brush in the same formula that is in the full-size product. 
So I always like trying mascaras in this section so that I could know if I'm going to like it, if it's going to flake, all the things. And then I, if it becomes a choice item in the larger size, I can use it as one of my choices. But this one really, really impressed me. Wore it all day through all the videos and late at night, close to midnight last night was when I finished all my work. I t uh, t checked and there was not one flake. It looked like I just put the mascara on. Really, really impressed with that. Bare Minerals, this is another one that I saw the same person who opened up their PR package, uh, open it up. I can't remember her name for the life of me all of a sudden. And this is the Bare Minerals. This is the Lasting Matte Liquid Lipstick. She was afraid of the color, but when she put it on her lips, she really, really liked it. And she said it smelled fantastic. So it looks like there could have been a couple of different options of this Beauty Creations in reference to this duo because we just saw that earlier but I don't know which one now is going to be in my box and then from item beauty it looks like we have some of their highlighters now we're going to get into the plus options that could potentially have been in our boxes Huda Beauty if you have not tried her nine pan eyeshadow palettes these are an absolute win I own every single one of them and I used to pay $29 for them and I thought that was a great deal and now with Ipsy we have it potentially to be in our boxes as well as in the add-ons usually for around that $12 $18 mark then we have the Ahava this is what they chose for me in my box excited to have the opportunity to try it and a couple of you wrote to me in the comments that you have tried this product and you highly recommend it so even more excited to get it now then there could have been this tool from this brand called Lucy Beauty and then from Fenty Beauty this is their Stun Up Lip Paint and now in here there's an option of two colors the uncuff that we saw in the spoilers but as you can see here on the second line there's also another color that was called Uncensored and I saw that a lot of you have shared with me that you picked this so I'm excited to hear your feedback on that the Wonder Beauty Skinny Drip Lip Oil I own and enjoy Crazy and Stella this is their brightening moisturizer eye cream and then from Etitude this is their waffle hair towel so if any of you got that in the past please share with me about that because I love hair towels but I've never owned a waffle one now we have MOTD Cosmetics. It looks like two full-size brushes, face brushes. And then from Clarity RX, this was one of the items that we spoiled about as well. I think some people got this last month. Uh, I have not seen any reviews on it or their thoughts for the few people that I have the opportunity to watch. Here it looks like we have a duo of the Pear Nova in the Plus. And then from Misha Beauty, some more nail lacquers that a lot of you have shared with me that you really highly recommend these. And here is that large... A hydrating cream in coconut this is that hand cream that I told you is in a huge huge tube that I received in a previous box studio makeup it looks like there's a translucent powder PYT this is one of the choices that I made it is the faux scent bronzer so this will be in my plus in Bali Skylar here is one another one of their perfumes that for some reason does not become an option for me as well as in my add-ons so Nash skincare that skincare line I really enjoy but I have not tried these icy globes but I know a lot of you have and you have said it is really a treat this was one that I was really on the fence about and I really had a tough time because there were a lot in my plus choices that I wanted to try and this was one of them and because I've heard such fantastic reviews from my UK um, subbies who share with me that this is a really expensive line and it is one that they definitely see results from so I was really on the fence to pick this as one of my choices but Shades by Sean had a brand new setting spray that they've been showing on Instagram and I got influenced so I ended up choosing that as my choice this was also a choice item for me that I would have liked to have tried because I do enjoy hand cream and I really want to try more from this Michelle Beauty line our Sally Beauty, this looks like there is a precision duo of the scissors and the tweezers. Cap Cosmetics, this one I've shared with you in the past. It's available in two volumes. Volume one is for light medium, and then volume two is more for medium to darker skin tones. This one I picked up in BoxyCharm add-ons or their drop shop, whatever they call their sales now. And this is an absolutely fantastic product. So if this ended up in your box, you will be really, really impressed. Don't be afraid where it says Fair Light because I chose it in Fair Light. And I also chose it in that shop in the medium one as well. And I do enjoy both and both work on my skin tones. 
Element Beauty. This is the one that I chose in my add-ons for $12 and it ended up being in my PR box, which I filmed and shared with you guys because I ended up wearing it and really, really impressed with this. I'm so excited that I'm going to be getting it in my add-ons for $12 and I'm going to be able to share that in a future giveaway. Then we have from Iconic London, we have the Triple Threat Mascara. This is also one that I've used and enjoyed. Estate Cosmetics, this is one that I saw this also being opened up by that same person in their PR box. They got this. So a lot of the PR was some different items. So if you see mine, make sure to visit some other channels as well because you might be opened up to some other products that they were able to show you as well. PYT Beauty, this is the Friends with Benefits. I have not tried this, but I'm excited to try the bronzer that I'm getting. So if you tried any of their lip products, please make sure to share that in the comments down below. Here's some more from Hey Honey. Gloasis Skincare, this was also one of my options. And if I did not already own this, I would have picked it. It is absolutely fantastic product. Do With the Gods, I've shared with you as well. And I also opened it up in my PR package, but I have this from a previous box that I've had the opportunity to share it and give you my thoughts on it. It is one that I enjoy and one that I've shared with you in that PR unboxing that when you put this on, it has a strong adhesive on the other side. So when you're putting it on, it will stay on. You'll be able to walk around, do whatever you need to do, and then remove it when you want. But this one you can keep on for at least 30 minutes. It is fantastic. and But you just have to be very careful when you remove it to keep your skin taut when you're pulling it off because the adhesive is very strong. And this is the Shades by Shan setting spray that I ended up choosing as my choice because I was influenced through Instagram posts. This is one of their newest launches. So I'm excited to have the opportunity to try it because everything that I've tried from Shades by Shan has been an absolute winner for me. This is another one that I chose as one of my choice items. This is On Your Face. This was in the spoilers. And as soon as I saw it in the spoilers, I definitely wanted to choose this for myself. And I was happy that it was one of my choice items. Then from Earth Harbor, this is another one that a lot of you say this line you're really enjoying a lot of. I have got it in previous boxes. I've just been trying so many products. I have all these Earth Harbors that I put aside to really try a lot of them, but I did try their bath oil and I'm really enjoying that. Then from Line Crime, this was another one that we saw in the spoilers. This is their stick that is a highlighting glimmering skin stick and it looks like we could have gotten in a lot of different options and here is the volume two of the cab cosmetics palette for contour that i shared with you just before iconic london these are the uh shadow uh, brushes that we shared also in the previous spoilers this was not in my box or in an option for me as well here's some more from earth harbor dr brandt this was a product that they chose for me and it was in the pr box so hopefully i'll have an opportunity to try it but i did swatch it for you guys when i opened up my pr i swatch everything when i get my boxes i try my best and especially when it's pr because i want to help everybody try to make some better decisions and i think it's really a luxury that they noticed this channel and that they gave this channel PR even though I purchase under my own personal name they don't know that the two are connected and I get my base my you know the the, the regular bag the plus the X all of that I pay for so when I get the luxury as a channel to get PR I do my best to try to swatch everything so that it helps all of us make better decisions on what the product feels like and if I have the opportunity to actually test the products like I did with the eyeshadow palette and the mascara and all of that that came in the PR I try to do that as well and share my thoughts then we have MOTD cosmetics this is a dual-sided brush I just got dual-sided brushes from uh, Farah so I didn't choose those this was another one that was hard for me not to choose this was a mascara because I do enjoy mascaras and I have not tried this brand so if you're familiar with this brand please share that in the comments down below Viseart Paris this is another brand that is so high-end and we're so lucky to get it in Ipsy every time Time. it is a Viseart product I usually add it to my bag but this one I currently own so I didn't have to make that choice Natasha Denona I haven't seen this either this is the chroma crystal liquid eyeshadows this is sounds really exciting I did not hear about this or see this in any spoilers so if this ended up being one of your choices please share with me then from lifestyle company this is a botanical oil cleanser have not tried that either then this was in the spoilers, those lashes. Then from Too Faced, this is one that I've had the opportunity to try. It's the Extreme Lip Plumper. 
years ago, this used to be so, I was so sensitive to it. And somehow when I got this in another box, I put it on and I was okay. So if you have the opportunity to try it or it shows up in your box, give it a try. Then we have from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is another one that I had the opportunity to swatch for you. It is a true hunter green, but these KVD gel eyeliners are absolutely fantastic and they are budge proof so if you are someone that has watery eyes or small eyes like i do and you have transfer you will not have that with this product super goop another one that was hard for me not to choose this is their sunscreen in spf 40 i have a small one of this that i've been using and enjoying but when there's so many options of new products that i want to try i try my best to use my choices for those but this would have definitely been in my bag if they would have chosen for me i would have been very happy this is the drama derma lactives this is an ultimate glow olive and grapefruit not familiar with this but that sounds really interesting and it looks like it comes in a bunch of different uh, scents it's apricot and green tea as well as jojoba and lavender i wonder if this is a bath scrub so please share with me if this was a choice for you and if you chose it please get back to me how you're enjoying it then from lys this is their cream blushes as you know i'm not a big cream girl but I'm starting to play a little bit and all of these colors look like it would have been a hard selection to choose from. Then from Stella this is their all-day dual ended waterproof eyeliner. If you have not tried Stella eyeliners you will be really impressed with that. Fenty Beauty this was in the PR box. I had the opportunity to swatch that and I also share my feelings on it. The heat on that was really very very minor and it dissipated so quickly so this is one do not be afraid of because the actual gloss inside is stunning and it has a beautiful red tint to it but it is sheer at the same time. Then from Wildcat this was another one that I wanted to choose because I've tried and used all the way to the end from this brand their eye product that I got in a, in a early on trend mood box and I'm really got this brand on my radar so happy that Ipsy is now getting into this brand as well so I'll be have the opportunity to try more from this brand Pacifica Beauty don't know much about their product but I do love their duo bronzer and blush that I have then from Trust Luce, it looks like we have their micro brow product what you need to know about this is that this is a I don't know if this is the one no, this is not the one that I have tried. This one says it is a dual-ended micro, so I have not tried this one. It looks like one side has a small pencil and the other one has an angled side. So if you've tried this, please share that in the comments down below. The one that I'm thinking about is from Item Beauty, where there is a brush on one side. I've never seen a dual-ended brow. How interesting is that? Then we have from Complex Culture, the Filter Out Anti-Pollution Face Primer. Have not tried this, but excited to see some more new products from Complex Culture. As you know, I really, really enjoy that brand. And then from Pure, this was a collab that they did with Nobella. This is their detoxifying and some brightening products. This is from Pure. And then the last item that is in here, which I'm so excited to see, is from R & Co. R & Co. I was picking up all the time from Fat Fit Fun. It is a brand that I really enjoy their shampoo and conditioner. And this is a one that I would have definitely been happy to get as well. It says it is a repair shampoo. And I really am very interested that now Ipsy is starting to get the R & Co. brand in our boxes. I think that is an absolute treat as well. So those are all the potential products that we could have received this month. Some were new brands. There was so much in here that I think all of us, if any of these ended up in our boxes or our bags, I think we all would have had a great October. Really excited for this month. Excited that I had the opportunity to show some of the products that were not in my bags or boxes in the PR that I opened up yesterday. So if you haven't had the opportunity to see that, I don't know when this video is going to get posted because I have so much to share with you this month. But I wanted to sit down and film this to be able to show you what all the potential products products can be. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that that bell is on because like I share with you all the time, when I know something, I want you guys to know it too. Take care, everybody. Continue to stay safe and well, and I'll see you all soon again in the next one. Bye for now.